Hello, everyone, and welcome back. In our previous episode, we showed you how to use Microsoft Copilot to just do basic job stuff, right? Documents, research, etc. But Sandra pointed out, actually, it's a really good tool for devs, and she uses it all the time. So I said, OK, you sit down next to me and show me things. Yeah. Thank you, Donna, for having me. And so I use Copilot all the time, every day, and I'm so excited to show you how I do it because it makes my life so much more efficient and I can get things done so quickly, right? Mm -hmm. You know what? Actually, before we dive into the topic too much, I'm a bit depressed because Damage is mocking me about Rack and that, you know, there is Langchain for Python and JavaScript, but he's not sure if it's there for Java. Is there Langchain for Java? This is the question. I do not know the answer. This is a job for Copilot, yes? Totally. Let's go for mm -hmm. it. I see you're asking precise mode because we need a precise answer to prove Dan wrong. Yeah. You can't have like... I can't go with made up stuff. No. Nope. You know, if, okay. if someone is making a statement, you have to be A strong right. statement. Yes. Let's see what we get. Yes. What do we bet? Bets. Is there a link chain for Java or yes or no? Oh, I'm going right. to go with... Wait, there is? Oh, yeah, it says, good. yes, there is a community good. version a community for version. Okay. Langchain for Java. Okay. It even gives me the GitHub repository. OK. So that's so cool. All right. So hey. yes, there oh, is. Oh, that is Langchain the right one. J. Oh. So great. I did not know this information until right now. So for all of you wondering, there is indeed Langchain for Java, along with Langchain for JavaScript and for Python. Is there for C++? It's, that's a different episode. <laughs> that's a different episode. So what else you got? What else you got? I mean, it's also used by so many people and so many yeah. contributors. And here's just one, Julian. Yeah, oh. I think I remember he I talked I about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my manager. He just said recently that he mm -hmm. added like image generation towards it. Hmm. So really? and he You've was got like, a funny image generation situation going on in your life right now. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the thing is, we just moved into our new house mm -hmm. and I was all up for all wooden, nice, warm wooden floors, right? And my mm -hmm. husband was like, oh, no, but not for the bathroom mm -hmm. and the kitchen because mm -hmm. it needs to be, like, there forever. And so they have two tiny children. Yeah, that's not helpful as mm -hmm. well. But I guess mm -hmm. I would be enough drama to, mm -hmm. to say we need tiles on the bathroom floor and in the kitchen as well. So we, we compromised, right? Mm -hmm. That's what marriage is about. <laughs> that's what life is for. So now we have wooden optic tiles. Mm -hmm which would be great because it looks almost like the nature, almost. So they're tiles that look like wood, but they're yeah. tiles. Okay, yes. I got you. I got you. Okay. And unfortunately, it's only almost realistic because I have the exact same two in my kitchen. And every morning I have my mm -hmm. first cup of coffee. Looking I see those two and I'm like, ah, damn it. Mm -hmm. Then you can spot it directly. It's not nature. It's mm -hmm. it's fake. It's, it's printed. You know, that's how the wooden designs mm -hmm. are made on tiles. And I wish so badly they would have had Copilot at that time because, you know, they would have just gener generated so many images. Mm -hmm. And as you are aware, it's not deterministic. So every time I ask Copilot uh, to generate a new image, it will turn out differently. Right. So that would have been a thing. And as a Java dev, of course, I want to have it in code. And my manager yes. was like, well, here, I did it here, Julian. Here's the code snippet. So there you go. And I'm like, OK, wow, cool. Okay, so I have there a question. Is. I have a question. How many of you love receiving other people's code? Nope. Said no dev ever, right? <laughs> I think my code is like, okay, but at least I know what it is. Mm -hmm. When I get someone else's code, even you, Julian, and I like Julian, I think he's a dang good coder, yeah. I never know what it says. Right? Yeah. Figuring out what it means is kind of a hassle. What, do, what are we going to do? Yeah, totally. So we, I could just ask it, please explain this code. But, you know, English is not my first language. Mm -hmm. I'm a not native speaker. So mm -hmm. especially when I'm tired during the evenings or in the mornings also, mm -hmm. then I would really like it to just give me the answer in German. So why do I try this? So I would just say, Eclair, decent code, which means explain this code and see what it does, right? Oh, wow. OK, this is an interesting scenario. Explain this code to me in German. You asked in German. You should get a German response back. Kind of. I didn't even, even though, prompt it in English. I no. was just say, erkläre diesen code, so explain it in... Like, OK, this is cool, because the code is in English. I mean, yeah, it's in Java. Um, it's in English. You prompt it in German, and you're getting a German answer back. Yeah, so oh. if you change the language by prompting, you will get the answer in the exact same uh, language. Is this a right answer? I, of course, cannot tell. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is actually very accurate. So it's exactly what I would have looked for. 
Okay, so it's very, so very good. Let's talk about the topic of expertise now. Mm -hmm. I believe it's important to use Copilot in scenarios where you actually have expertise, because that way you're able to say whether the AI-generated response is correct or not. Mm -hmm. Me generating things in German would make absolutely no sense, because I have no idea whether the Java's right or the German's right. Probably in this case, both would be wrong, right? Mm -hmm. But because Sandra's an expert in both Java and German, she's able to say this is a good answer. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so now Julian handed me over this code, and he mm -hmm. was like, "Yeah, can you just do the, you know the rest of it to make it a real PR mm -hmm. and and to have a pull request? We would have to add some test cases." That's right. right. That's right. So, and as I told, I'm already tired. So, why don't I have Copilot? Sorry, mm -hmm. why don't I have Copilot to do this for me? Right. This so just seems say, like a very good job for Copilot. Manage test for this. So let's see if it still has the code in it, or if I had to repaste. Oh, you've got a basic unit test. Okay, that's something. Look at that. Okay. This is very useful for a lot of people don't always know how to write like an accessibility mm -hmm. test, making sure it's screen reader capable, contrast, etc. Yeah. This is a very good hack for that, like generate me 10 accessibility test cases yeah. for this chunk of code. That's very cool. Yeah. So it actually yeah. also says that this one is just a very basic unit test. Yeah. So if I need more, I can just click like, can you give me an example of yeah. mocking in Java? Or I could probably also have said, please generate like for all test scenarios. Yeah. I love this. Me too, right? This is a cool little hack. I didn't know about this. Yeah. <laughs> So this one is going now a bit off topic and explains me how to do mocking, mm -hmm. which is not bad. But as I said, I'm not in the mood to learn something mm -hmm. here. I'm tired mm -hmm. and I just want to get things done, right? Mm -hmm. So why don't I click on stop responding and say like, geez, generate uh, test cases for all test scenarios. And I would just give it the code again, just as a reminder. Because the more precise you are with your prompts, mm -hmm. the more accurate the answer that's will right. be, right? That's right? So that's what we learned as well. Oh, okay. So now I will not only get the JUnit test, but also the mock test cases, mm -hmm. which is potentially very good. Mm -hmm. So at least a great starting point. point. And then I can just uh, copy those code, put it into my IDE, and then I can go off there with Copilot Chat, for instance. But this one's just free. I have it. I can just use it in my browser, which is very cool. So imagine I'm fine with my test case. Everything is running. Next step would be the deployment, maybe? I think let's talk about deployment. Yeah. So OK, so I will ask it like, uh, let's say, how do I deploy this to Azure? Mm. Like container apps? Yeah, container apps. Yeah, container apps. Let's do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I would do as a dev. Mm -hmm. I choose the most basic thing, cheap, mm -hmm. only uh, use what you need. Yeah, like get this code written, deploy to like the mm -hmm. smallest possible app, deploy to whoever needs it, call it. Yeah, yeah. Especially send it to your tile people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're like, I'm going to help you out. Go do this. Yeah. <laughs> So as a Java dev, so it says I need to create a container image for my mm -hmm. app, and then I can push the image to the registry and create the container app. OK, great. It also gives me tutorials. So again, a lot of things I would have to do by myself. So I could sorry, go on here yeah. and just copy probably the POM XML, because that's usually oh, yeah. what's needed. I know that if I want to create my own Docker file. Mm -hmm. So why don't I say? Please create a container image or Docker file for this project. So now I should know that this is a POM XML. So obviously, I'm using Maven. Mm -hmm. and, and here is everything specified what I need in my app to be run. So I guess the Docker file should be probably basic, but still good. Good starting point. This is great. So it's not, it's not the best Docker file. Mm -hmm. Just to be clear, yes. I won't lose my job. But She's it will be totally enough. Happily employed to, to give her a start. start. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It would totally be mm -hmm. enough as a starting point and mm -hmm. I would totally be able to just run this, containerize it, and then I can just drag and drop my Docker image even uh, towards the cloud. So so deployed in Azure Container Apps. What I liked about this whole series mm -hmm. right now, this this episode, is that you showed that Copilot's actually quite useful as a dev copilot, mm -hmm. right? To help you do specific tasks that are kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. It gets the first part out of the way. Yeah. So you can apply your brilliant brain to solving the rest of the problem yeah. in the way it needs to be solved. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, so and now it gives me the Docker file, for mm -hmm. instance, and I have some doubts about Java 8 and Docker files. So mm -hmm. I could also ask, like, hey, what do I need to make it more best? Uh, practice for mm -hmm. Java on container. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do that as the last one. Uh -huh. uh, oh, it's going. Look at it. Best practices. Okay. So let's see what it comes up with. If I even get a better Docker file, that would be so cool. <laughs> yeah. I can't get how easy it was for them to explain the the whole code in German. That was pretty cool. And it was yeah. so fast. I wouldn't then. know if it's good explanation, but yeah. our German friend thinks it was. Therefore, yeah, yeah. it I'm must be thankful. extremely good. Mm -hmm. And you know what? as I just discovered recently. So I can also go onto this repository here and if I'm not aware of what's inside, mm -hmm. I don't have to clone the whole thing and just uh, deep dive into it. I could also just use the Edge thing here, oh, the copilot in yes. Edge and mm -hmm. ask it questions. I love that. And like, this way you don't have to clone all your repos. No. Just have the list, yeah. ask questions. Yeah. I love it. Like yeah. previously I could have opened it in code spaces as mm -hmm. well on GitHub, mm -hmm. but then, you know, I would have needed the license for mm -hmm. it first of all. And mm -hmm. then, you know, it would also cost some uh, data, like yes. some cores in a data center and I want to operate as green as possible. Right. So this one's just perfect. I love it. Yeah, me too. What did your co-pilot say finally? So here, this one says separate configuration from code. Mm -hmm. Automate all many. So it's a bit more best practice for Java mm -hmm. in in the cloud anyway. So I yeah. So that was the main thing. I mm -hmm. wanted to see that it's not good. Like Java eight, you need to have at least this version, mm -hmm. or preferably newer version. Yeah, it's like one of the things I wanted to see. So it has that. Yes. But then obviously I still will be employed. It's not everything. Yeah. But it's a very very good start. I love it. Thank you so much for coming and showing me all of the dev to tricks and hacks for the Microsoft Copilot. Yeah. We will see you next time. <laughs>